Quality is a hot button issue in medicine right now. I would say many of the um, clinicians kind of cringe when they hear it sometimes because they think about it in terms of payment, insurance kind of forcing fake quality metrics on us. But the way we think about it is really about the patient kind of falls back to what the patient experience is. So we want to make sure that we're doing the appropriate things, treating patients in the right way. That actually leads to them having higher satisfaction, but at the end of the day also improves um, their health outcomes. I actually got a uh, definition from one of my professors a long time ago that value is equal to outcomes over cost. So if you have higher outcomes, you have higher value. So better outcomes, higher value. If you have lower costs, you have higher value. Because outcomes are so difficult to define and measure, a lot of payers have focused on cost, unfortunately. So all they try to do is to decrease the cost because that increases the value. But unfortunately, when you decrease the cost, you also run the risk of decreasing the quality of the outcomes. So what we want to do is to improve the outcome. So to look back at patients and ask them, what do you care about? So you care about time to treatment. You care about that diagnosing. So can someone actually diagnose something in a quick, um, quick amount of time? If you have a rash, how long does it take for you to actually get better? If you have acne or rosacea, um, how long do, does it take for your treatment to actually work? Um, that's, those are the things that people care about and those are the things that we need to start to measure. And it's very difficult to measure and I completely understand. But if we can come up with um, a somewhat refined way that we can target that and look for ways to improve the outcomes, I think we can actually increase value of care overall.